हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी सिंपल सर्किट इन विच अ रेजिस्टर इज कनेक्टेड अक्रॉस एन अल्टरनेटिंग वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड वी विल सी वट हैपन्स विद द करंट लाइक वी वॉन्ट टू सी द फेस डिफरेंस बिटवीन द करंट एंड वोल्टेज इन दिस काइंड ऑफ सर्किट वेयर अ सिंगल रजिस्टर इज कनेक्टेड then then we will take a single capacitor then we will take a single inductor and we are going to study the different types of circuits containing alternating current source so here we have a circuit this and in this circuit an alternating current source is connected across a resistor r and let us say this source is v equal to v not sin omega t right okay so this is the voltage that we have applied across this resistor now what we will do in all these circuits we will think about a formula which connects voltage and current for this particular component for example just think about a formula which connects voltage and current for resistance r and that formula is ohm's law v equal to ir so in all these circuits containing r only containing l only containing c only we will apply a single voltage source v not sin omega t and from that voltage we will try to find the value of current and when the value of current comes we will see how it differs in value and basically mainly in phase difference with the voltage so what is the voltage that we have applied across this the voltage is v not v not sin omega t and if we apply if we apply ohm's law if we apply ohm's law which is v equal to ir then we are going to get i as v divided by r and then we put the value of v which is v not sin omega t divided by r right i equal to v by r and putting the value of v which is v not sin omega t we get i equal to v not by r is i not sin omega t v not i by r that the maximum value v not is the maximum value of voltage and the maximum value of voltage when divided by resistance obviously will give you the maximum value of current so we can write it as i equal to i not sin omega t and from this we conclude that current and voltage are in same phase in an ac circuit containing pure resistor and that is the main thing that is the main conclusion that we have to draw that is current and current and voltage are in same phase in an ac circuit containing containing r only in an ac circuit containing r only right that is the main conclusion that you have to draw and we have to draw one more thing which is phasor diagram right phasor diagram we have studied in the previous lecture if you have not seen that lecture you first have to 
see that lecture and you understand what is a phaser. Only then you will be able to understand the diagram that we are going to draw in this case, in the next lecture, in the next lecture after that. So, first you go and watch that lecture and understand the concept of phasers and only then you can understand everything that I am going to draw here. So, what we have seen, <coughs> we have seen that current and voltage are in same phase in an AC circuit containing pure resistance like that there is there is no other component present in the circuit only resistance should be present in the circuit right okay now let us draw the phasor diagram <coughs> let us draw the phasor diagram if the current and voltage are in if the current and voltage are in the same phase then obviously in phasor we will draw them like this this is what this is the voltage and since current and voltage are in the same phase so they they both have covered the same phase the same angle in time t so the direction of current will be this only and this is this is v and this is i and the the heights of these this and this the heights of these will represent what the heights of these will represent their instantaneous values v naught sine v naught sine omega t and this height represents i naught sine omega t and this is the angle omega t so this is the phasor right okay okay now let us draw the graph of let us draw the graph of v and i so if we draw the graph of v and i then this is if this is going to be our v then current and voltage are in the same phase but the magnitude of current is less than the magnitude of voltage because i is uh, the the peak value of the current is less than the peak value of the voltage because i naught is v naught divided by r and if you are dividing obviously if you are dividing v naught by r then you are going to get a smaller value than v right so, we will draw it like this, since they are in same phase, so both of them will attain 0 at uh, simultaneously at a particular instant and they both will attain maxima at a particular instant, then again they both will go attain 0 at, a, at, at the same instant. So, this is going to be the graph of V and I this is i and this is your v and uh, this right the, what else we can okay we can mark these values this is the This is the peak value of current and this is the peak value of voltage. This is the peak value of current on the other side. This is the peak value of voltage on the other side. And if you have drawn this graph, if you have drawn this graph, let me mark these values first. I naught, V naught, this one is minus I naught, this one is minus V naught. And if you have drawn this graph with time, then we can say, that this is 0 time and this is the half time that is t by 2 and this is your complete time period t. So, these are the phasors and the graphs in a circuit which contains only a resistance and this is the full explanation. In next video, we will take a uh, circuit in which we have applied a pure induct inductor. We have, we, we have applied an alternating voltage across an inductor. So, the, the property which is there is pure inductance. But if you don't know inductance, you can watch my other lecture on inductance on the same channel. You can search the topic. But watch the video after this one only watching the lecture on inductance. So, I will meet you in that lecture. Till then all the very best.